Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is moving in each one of us. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for viewing and being with me today. Uh, God bless you. Uh, I just pray that this message will uh, be taken into your, into your spirit, man. It will take root and that it will produce fruit uh, in your life. Hallelujah. The title of this message is Toxin Removal. Woo, hallelujah. And we're going to be talking about uh, the, the toxins that try to build up in our, our spirit man that keep us from going forward in our spiritual walk uh, with the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. In Romans, I'm going to start in Romans 8, and then we're going to pray. There is there no, no condemnation. This is in verse 1, chapter 8 of Romans. There is no condemnation to those which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Hallelujah. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made you free, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Oh, hallelujah. And if we go down to verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's where we want to get to, people. Hallelujah. We want to walk every day in the victory of Jesus Christ. What he did for us on the cross, what he did for us with his body and what he did for us with his blood, uh, we want to acknowledge that every single day so that we can move in victory. Praise the name of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for life. We thank you for helping us and removing from us all things that do not uh, profit us uh, in our life. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you that you are doing this, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. You are teaching us. You are giving us the truth, Lord. And we thank you for the message today. Let it go forth with power and boldness and with the fire of God. In Jesus' name, I call down the fire. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And when the fire comes, when the fire of the Holy Spirit touches your life, then you can expect the rain, the abundance of rain, a Holy Spirit rain uh, to come into your life into your family, into your body, into all areas of your life. Can you say amen? Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have been in prayer about this message. Brother Fred and I have already taken communion today. Hallelujah, so that the blood of Jesus is over us. And I spoke that the blood of Jesus over everyone who will be viewing this video in Jesus' name, that God's protection will be upon you, upon your life. Oh, hallelujah. Now, there are three areas, there are, there are many areas that may need detoxing. You know, in the natural realm, people detox all the time. They, they do a cleansing for their liver. They do a cleansing for their blood. Uh, they, they take, uh, cleansing elements uh, that that cleanse in the natural realm. But what I'm talking to you today about is in the spiritual realm. I'm talking about a cleansing in the spiritual realm. Woo, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I feel I feel fire in my bones this this day in Jesus name. But there are three areas that, that are very major in our lives that I want to share with you some, some revelation and some scriptures that I believe that will help all of us profit in our walk with the Lord. Number one is making sure that our communication has all of the toxins removed. And I'm going to go back over these. So communication is the first area. What you're saying out of your mouth. How are you communicating? Number two are toxic relationships. 
And number three is toxic behavior. Woo, glory. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You know, if, if we go to communication, well, first of all, let me give you a definition of, of what a, a toxin is. It is a poison that enters through the carnal realm. It is a poison. It is very dangerous to your spiritual life, and it is destructive. You know, the enemy, John 10.10, 10, says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to bring you life and to bring you life more abundantly. So, that's what we need to remember here today. That we are victorious in Jesus Christ. And we can detox, if you will. And I'm going to share some steps, uh, not some steps, but some things that the Lord has shared with me about detoxing our spiritual life. Hallelujah. Well, what are some of these toxins that we're talking about? We're talking about things like unforgiveness. We're talking about anger. We're talking about stress. We're talking about frustration. We're talking about resentment. We're talking about sickness and disease. Did you know that in medical research, they have proven individuals that have uh, unforgiveness in their life, hardening of the arteries, heart disease, even arthritis, uh, especially rheumatoid arthritis, is caused by that toxin in the spiritual realm that enters into the carnal realm into your body and causes you pain and discomfort. Dear Jesus, help us to detox today. Help us to get rid of all of those things that are, are not productive and not profitable in our spirit, soul, mind, and body. Hallelujah. You know, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 33, if we go there quickly, hallelujah. It says, now this is talking about communication. It says, chapter 15 uh, verse 33, it says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt Good manners are morals. It causes a person to come out of the spiritual realm and into the carnal realm. Now, the, when a person enters the carnal realm, they enter into enemy territory. Are you hearing me? We want to stay out of enemy territory. We want to stay in the spirit. We want to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Ooh, praise the name of Jesus. Now, let's go over to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. This says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of of all edifying or building up, that it might minister grace to the hearer. Let no corrupt communication. That 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 word corrupt there means unproductive. It means unprofitable. It does not just mean um, using bad words or or cussing someone out. Or it it is it is. Not speaking the word of God. Speaking contrary to the word. When the Lord says you're healed and you say I'm sick, then that is corrupt communication. Uh, when the Lord says you're, the, you're victorious and you say, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I'm defeated. I'm discouraged. That's corrupt communication. It says, let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. We're going to talk about how do you get rid of all these toxins in just a few moments. 
Now, relationships. You know, I've, I've, I've thought, Lord, teach me about relationships. And one thing that, that he said to me was in 2 Corinthians 6, 14, and that was not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. That doesn't mean that you don't pray for unbelievers. That doesn't mean that you don't that you don't believe the Lord for their their deliverance and salvation. But what it does mean is that you're not yoked up with them. You're not yoked up. You don't uh, fellowship with them. You don't. Uh, you keep your distance from from the unbelievers. Uh, that would draw you into enemy territory. And so we stay away from the the unbelievers. We're not yoked up with them. And then let's go, I'm right here in Ephesians chapter 5, uh, verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Speak to them. If you have uh, someone that's that's um, in your neighborhood or someone that you know uh, that you work with, perhaps, and they're using bad language, they're they're uh, telling bad jokes, or you know, this is something that that you do not have to become part of. You don't have to do that. You can begin to uh, remove yourself from that fellowship. It says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Oh, dear Lord. W one of those unfruitful works of darkness is gossip. Talking about people. And Lord, I've already repented. And maybe you need to repent right now of any words that you've spoken. Because your words are powerful. And what are we supposed to be speaking over people? We're supposed to be speaking the word of God over people. Hallelujah. Over family members, over co-workers, over neighbors, over uh, people that we, we see that are doing bad things. We need to be reversing that. We need to be speaking the word of God into their lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now... I think about relationships and how do you know if a relationship is unfruitful or toxic? Here's, here are some things that you might want to consider. Number one on the list is any type of physical or verbal abuse. I'm talking about how do you know if this relationship is toxic? Number two, is there constant control, and manipulation in the relationship. Number three is that this person will not take no for an answer. They just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on until they wear the person down and the person finally says, yes, I'll do it. That's a toxic relationship. Another thing that that brings a talk uh, that describes a, a toxic relationship is that the other individual will not take responsibility. If something goes wrong, it's always your fault. And they'll tell you that. Number five, they keep a scorecard of things that you've said or things that you've done wrong. And they just check it off, check it off, check it off, check it off. And then the the last thing to consider here is that you just, you stop talking altogether because you have the thought that it's not going to make any difference. It's not worth it. So I'm just going to let them continue to abuse me, continue to... Uh, rake me over the coals, continue to verbally and physically abuse me. 
uh, and maybe other ways as well. This type of relationship is toxic. And we need to remove ourselves from that real relationship. Distance yourself from those types of relationships. Oh, Lord, help us. You know, I think about some unhealthy relationships in the Word of God. And I, I think about uh, King David and King Saul. Saul had envy and murder in his heart uh, against David. And he was constantly moving in that direction, trying to take his life, be, you know, bringing uh, uh, accusations uh, against him. And, and, and King David was, was, was trying to move in peace and, and harmony and, and not to, you know, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And so King David was trying to keep himself in the spiritual realm. But that was an unhealthy, toxic relationship. And then I think about Saul gives his daughter, Michael, to David as a wife. But she was not spiritual. She was carnal, and David was spiritual. Those two don't go together. And she brought toxicity, if you will, poison into that relationship. Remember when King David was bringing up the ark and he was leaping and dancing and he took off his outer uh, cloak and, and Michael, his wife, was peering from the window. And she began to accuse him of taking off his clothes to show the other women. King David was just being free wanting to dance before the Lord. But Michael accused him. His wife accused him. You're doing this. You're doing that. But it says that Michael, his wife, had no children. She was barren. We have to be very cautious not to touch God's anointing. And, and to bring his prophets no harm. The word of God is true, people. And the word of God works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get to that. I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving forward uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, and then I think about a healthy relationship that King David had. And that was with Jonathan, Saul's son. They were friends. They watched each other's back. And even at the very end, Jonathan gave his sword to David and his cloak, his robe, his mantle, he gave to David. Because you see, Jonathan was in line to be the next king. But he gave everything to David. And David became the next king. Let me let me say, we want healthy relationships. We want to communicate the word of God. We want all of the toxins out of us. Hallelujah. That we can live peacefully. That we can live without sickness and disease in our body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the third area that I said we need to be uh, considering is our behavior. Is our behavior what it needs to be? Are we pursuing peace? Are we acting and imitating, this is Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, are we imitators of God? And I just brought a message on being imitators. Are we doing, are we behaving like God would behave? Hallelujah. God is love. And love is God. 
And so are we, if we go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, oh, you say, oh, I know that passage. Hallelujah. Oh, well, are we living it? Are we behaving this way? It says that love suffereth long and is kind. Are you living that way? Is your behavior a picture of this scripture right here? Love does not envy. Love does not exalt itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave itself unseemingly. It seeks not its own. It's not easily provoked. And thinks no evil. I'm going to go over that one again. It thinks no evil. Is your mind clear today? Is your mind free of any evil reports? Is your mind free of evil thoughts about uh, your your family member or your neighbor or your co-worker or, or your pastor or someone in your church body? You know, are you free today from poison? Are you free? Hallelujah, I want to be free. Say, I want to be free in Jesus' name. I want to detox myself today. Oh, hallelujah. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that detoxing today. Number one, it's done by the Spirit of God and by the truth of God. Remember those two things. If you want to detox spiritually, you need to do it by the Spirit and through the Word of God. Hallelujah. And God will bring that detoxing to you and will free you from all poison being in your spiritual life. I want to be free. Set free to worship. I'm set free to praise Him. I'm set free to rejoice around God's throne. I'll dance. I'll sing. Oh, hallelujah. I'll, I'll go before him in the presence of God and I will receive from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! A freedom. Some of you are already feeling it in your, in your, in your mind and in your body. Oh, hallelujah! Number one on the list is to repent. Repent and receive the refreshing. Repent of any bad thoughts. Repent of any bad communication. Repent of any behavior that has not been uh, imitation of God. Oh, hallelujah. So that's number one on the list. Number two is to be led by the Spirit of God and who you fellowship with, who you communicate with. What you do in your everyday life. Be led by the Spirit of God. Oh, well, I'll be led by the Spirit of God. I've got a big ministry to do uh, in a couple of days, and I'll be led by the Spirit of God. No, every single day you're to be led by the Spirit of God. And it says, if you are led by the Spirit of God, you are one of His sons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have authority and you have power if you're one of his sons. You have authority to speak to sickness. You have authority to speak to poverty. You have authority to speak to, to abuse. You have, you have authority in your life if you're one of his sons. Hallelujah. Number three on the list is to minister grace to the hearer. That's what we read about communicating. You're to minister grace to the hearer. What is what can you speak to this person uh, that you you are communicating with that will bring grace to them? Minister grace uh, to the hearer. And then number four is whatever you do in this instant in First Corinthians ten, verse thirty-one. <coughs> Excuse me. 
is everything you do and say, do it to the glory of God. Is this going to glorify God? Is this conversation going to glorify God? Is this action or behavior going to glorify God? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself. And then the next one on the, on the list is to be imitators of God. Be creative. Take that power, take that energy, take that authority that God has already given unto you and use it. Use it to detox, to get rid of unforgiveness, to get rid of anger, uh, to get rid of stress, to get rid of frustration, to get rid of, of uh, resentment, to get rid of sickness and disease. Let's, let's do that. When the Holy Spirit instructs us to get rid of the toxins because they can build up just like in the natural realm. They can build up in your body. They can build up in your muscles. They can build up in your internal organs. They can build up in your mind. Let's get rid of them, people. Let's get rid of them so that we can move with power, that we can move in the kingdom of God and establish it. Let God's will be done here on the earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. This message is a very practical message for God's people so that they can be healthy and that they can be at peace and that they can have prosperity and success in everything that you that they do. This is that this message I don't know about you, but this message is helping me. Hallelujah. I don't want all of these toxins to show up in my spiritual life. I want to get rid of them. And I've, I've showed you some ways scripturally that we can get rid of it. But please, consider your communications. Consider your relationships and consider your behavior from this day forth. Let's be the people of God that he wants us to be. Let's bring forth the glorious church because that's what he's coming back for, people. He's not coming back for people that are all involved in poison. He's coming back for a glorious church church. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus to be totally free of any of these toxins that we've talked about today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Muscle pain. Oh, back pain. Leg pain. Feet pain. Oh, he headaches. Uh, eye pain. Uh, loss of hearing. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I speak healing to your bodies today in Jesus' name and that the toxins have been removed from your physical body in Jesus' name. I receive it in my body today in Jesus' name. I pray that you receive that word of healing into your body right now in Jesus' name. In your relationships, I speak that you will fellowship with those that God tells you to fellowship with. And those will be profitable to you. And those will be productive for you. And those will be a blessing to you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that your behavior will line up with the word of God. Lord, let all of us be imitators of you. Do what you would do. Say what you would say. Whew, glory. I thank you for viewing today. I thank you for receiving this word today. I thank you for taking this word <coughs> and going forth and be doers of this word. Thank you. God bless you.